Hello everyone, it's Infamous Mago here from Big Big Nation. Today I'm bringing you another Minecraft tutorial on how to create your own texture pack. Now this is quite easy to do. You're going to need either Paint.net or GIMP, which are both free, GIMP, or Photoshop, which is not free, but Paint.net works as fine as Photoshop for this, so I'll put the link in the description. So you want to go get .paint.net, Paint.net here, click the mirror you want to download from, and click this, and you should get the zip file. I don't know why they have so many links, don't ask me. Anyways, once you're done that, download it and install it in a few seconds. It's pretty self-explanatory. You want to go to your search bar and type in percent app data percent and open up your roaming folder over here. Now you want to open up your .minecraft directory, go to your bin, go to your Minecraft jar and open it with WinRAR or 7-zip, whatever you have. I'll put that in the description as well. And now once you're done that, you want to open a new folder or create a new folder on your desktop and call it anything you want your texture okay wait okay texture back there we go and put it on the side and now you wanna copy the folders I show you into your texture pack so you wanna copy achievement armor art environment GUI item MISC MOB terrain and title so take a second look at that I'll put that in the description if you missed it and so those folders and then you're going to need a few PNGs over here so go up you need terrain.png you're going to need pack.png particles.png and get pack.txt and you are done you got everything you need right there and that should be like 14 things if I can count correctly and then you can minimize this and basically this is Everything you can edit, your achievements, your armor, the paintings in game, your environment, the animations of breaking blocks, your items are over here, inventory, everything basically is here to edit as your at your discretion. And over here is your pack, this is the image that comes up when you pick a texture pack in game. And pack.txt is the text that comes up with it. So let me call mine awesome cookies. I don't know. That's the most random thing that came to my mind, probably because I'm hungry. But anyways, once you're done that, I'm just going to show you how to edit the terrain file. You can edit anything here. Just right-click open with paint.net. It should open automatically. And now you can zoom onto it. And you can create your texture pack, basically. And mine's going to obviously look amazing. And yeah, this is my texture pack. Obviously, yours might look better, but I'm happy with mine, you know? Don't judge. So this is it. Once I'm done my texture pack, do whatever I do with texture packs, you can go File, Save, and usually it might be on Auto Detect, but sometimes you can't edit this, so you want to go to 8-bit over here, and you don't want transparency, transparency pardon me, threshold at the lowest, because then the transparent parts are going to be white. You want to have it as high as it can go, so that's 255 and I'm going to click OK and it's saved so once you've done that you can select everything and you can click add to archive and you want to pick zip file and you can name your texture pack here so awesome cookies that's my texture pack I'm going to click OK and it's right here so I'm going to drag that to my desktop minimize that I'm going to open up Minecraft and we'll see if it worked type in my password fail okay I'll play offline go to texture packs open texture pack folder and basically you can drag this over here and this is how you send it you can send it to your friends to try it out so as you can see there's my text I'm gonna click done Let's see how it is ooh wow it's actually not that bad as you can see there's like a pattern like consistent throughout all the blocks so it doesn't look that bad for my since I did it in like two seconds but Anyways, that's how you create a texture pack. It's qu quite easy. If you still have any problems, please message me or comment, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Why do we wait so long?